When you're alone and you need a friend Someone to make you forget your problems Just come along baby, take my hand I'll be your lover tonight So that's Boom Boom over there The greatest X-Men nickname that exists And you can't name a better one Now oh, it even says tick, 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 boom All right the hives. Now, with okay, that being said, with her being awesome and everything, I don't think Ed Brisson knows how guns work over here. Rocket launchers, yeah, I can believe how you can fire it off. You'd have enough time to evade it. But guns, I don't know. He gets Maxine and Manon to actually shoot each other. And Glob seems to understand what's going on. It's funny, the character written here is smarter than the writer actually doing the work. Glob understands when you do this, others will come because they heard the gunshot. That's very sound logic, Glob. Good little lesson you're teaching. When I see you, Glob Herman, explain things to these youngins, it makes you feel older than what you are, more mature, more wise, and more valuable, just by teaching, by, by seeing you teach. Now, what happens next is a man comes down, validating what Glob was saying. That makes sense, but, when Beak gets shot, we already heard shots from the basement. Why is the leader dumb about what just happened? How could he have not realized that there were gunshots down? He doesn't even know it. And then at this scene, we're going to have guns pointed towards him. And below, you'll see that he managed to escape these bullets that move at the speed of sound. He One, two... Three, I see four straight lines of Braca, Braca that he had managed to evade. That's not realistic in the slightest. They were pointed right at him. There's no way he could have blocked all of those shots. That's not how guns work. Also, we've seen and we just were told, Maxine and Manon, why don't you make them seem like friends? We've seen them use their psychic abilities. So while they're here... In the car, you see right here the car, they're loading it, and um, they're within distance of the house that's not too far away. You hear bang. They hear bang. They heard bang. Where did that come from? It came from upstairs. You see, when the villain ran away, they did not chase him. They allowed him to go upstairs to get Beak's father. And they also heard the bang from outside, meaning if they could hear the bang from outside, then the others should have heard those bangs from the basement when they were being held captive. And now here we got the um, the scene I'm talking about. If he's up there on the porch, I need Maxine and Manon to use their abilities that they showed me that they could do, except now they'll use it to make him friendly. Artwork was good. This page, both of these pages, the bang, the suspense, I can't believe an old man just died, and it happened. Um, the little lesson that we're going to learn is that Maxine and Manon are going to... Um, they're going to realize we can't just erase Beak's brain to make him not realize what happened. That's cool. But if he's got the internet, which is what this is, that's not cool. Which brings me to the internet. This image. Where did this pub, this um, news site, where did they get this image from? I'm interpreting this page as an actual report. White pages, you can be... You can, you can be as um, creative as you want to be. But they made the effort to put this home screen, the refresh button. I'm, I'm believing that this is from a new site. Well, who took that photo? Glob is posing in front of this photo. Everyone's looking right at the camera, man. That can't be right. I don't like how that was shot. I got a problem with anything that was shot in this comic book. Um, then, yeah, Beak is over here just reviving... Get, Armor, again, armor is going to give a lesson to the kids about how you can't do this. This is always going to come back to bite us in the ass. And that's drama. That part of the book's really good. That's something I want to see, bite them in the ass. If I cared for the comic. Now, I was enjoying this story until this issue. Looking at the future and the previews, I think I'm dropping New Mutants. As of right now, when I've got until the 18th to decide what I'm going to be picking up in, in my April pull list, but I feel like New Mutants is the one that I will drop. I'm still with Marauders, X-Force, and X-Men. Um, yeah, the, the Fantastic Four book that's coming because it's four parts. 
And like I said in my podcast with Comic Book University, I like that the story dictates the length. Excuse me. I actually, I think I hit. No, and that's wrong. I was going to say, I think I hiccuped on the microphone during the podcast, but that was before the podcast. Because that microphone is really, really sensitive. Right now, I'm using my camera to do um, my phone camera to do these. And I'll probably continue doing my phone camera to do these. But for the live streams, which are coming, and for podcasts, I'll use the webcam and I'll use the, the uh, microphone, the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti, which is an awesome microphone. Um, that's the review... The mutants are new. I came through on a Tuesday. No, no, today is Monday. Today is Monday. Um, six days ago. How did you guys like the Super Bowl? How did you like this? Kansas City Chiefs. They represented the fine state of Kansas really well. 